I'm a Riz. I'm a total beginner. I mean, complete beginner. Uh huh. Okay. No, but really, I'm a true beginner. Like, I have no list, no following, no audience. I don't even have anything to sell. Okay, so what you're saying is you've got nothing. Yes! <laughs> Help me. Okay, cool. Well, come with me. I want to know if you can relate to this. Comment beginner in the comments. I want to know if you've been in this situation before, or maybe you are right now. Because I know... I definitely was when I first got started. Okay, so before we dive deep into making $100 a day online, if you're a total beginner, if you have no followers, no email list, no audience, no nothing, let's back up a little bit. And let me put something for you into context. Okay, now I want you to imagine and envision making money online or creating your own online business as this thing that's not possible unless you have a strong foundation a strong foundation okay um and what this means is let me just tell you a quick story of what i mean by that and just to give you a little bit more background about what i mean by this foundation so my very first business online was e-commerce right i was doing shopify i had a couple of online shopify stores um two of them were drop shipping stores and one of them was print on demand and it was successful but it really was not okay i was able to generate six figures between those stores and i think six figures with one of them however that was that was gross profit and the net profit was pretty pathetic because i didn't have much if not any and that's pretty sad <laughs> and let me tell you why so when i had my e-commerce business i was throwing paid ads in the form of facebook ads at my e-commerce store. So I was just like, okay, um, you know, I'm spending $100 a day on ads, $300 a day on ads to try to get my most viral products to make money and create profit for the store. And I remember that summer that I was doing e-commerce, just about every day for like 60 days straight, my numbers were in the red. It was super scary. And the coach that I had at that time for my Shopify store and for my Facebook ads was like, oh, don't worry, your pixel is just getting pixelated and we're warming up your audience and that way um, in a couple of weeks it'll be in profit and you'll have at least a 30% profit margin. And I'm like, okay, like little naive me, I'm like, all right, yeah, let me just sit back and watch uh, all of my ad campaigns tank and then like once in a while uh, get my ad account shut down by Mark Zuckerberg. Cool. And the problem was this fundamental problem. I had no foundation of organic reach. It was a very risky move that I did in the beginning and I did it because I was just really confident back then when I was a newpreneur and entrepreneur. Okay, nothing could stop me. I'm like, yes, I'm gonna be a millionaire. I'm gonna make six figures like super quick. And I just went and I did, which, you know, I don't, It's it was my journey. I don't blame myself for doing it but it was just very risky and I took the wrong approach. And so as I mentioned, I had no foundation of traffic. I had a traffic problem and the whole time that entire first year, I was in denial and I was denying to myself that I didn't have a traffic problem and that got me in big trouble financially and it forced me to honestly quit e-commerce and I was burnt out with e-commerce to be completely transparent. I was, there were so many moving parts and I was exhausted, I was working so much but I came to a moment where I'm like, yeah, I need to shut down these stores. I need to sell them because they are just not going, you know, they're not giving me any profit margin. So I was getting revenue, but my fixed costs, including, you know, payments and the cost of ads were right there along the revenue line. And it was not good for profit margin. And so what do you do? Well, here's what you do. Okay, to get up and running to making your first $100 a day online every single day and beyond. You got to make a decision and you have four choices. You have a choice between paid. You have a choice between organic and free. You have a choice between buying other people's traffic. And you have the fourth choice of going the traditional route. I've experienced and done all four, literally all four. But you gotta make a decision and you have to be firm in which one you decide and go hard on that choice and build it up and stick with it until you are getting results. Do you wanna know my professional opinion about which of the four is the best? 
then keep on watching. Now, of course, I'm gonna start with the organic and free because that is my wheelhouse. I love it. Oh my God, I'm about to go harder on my organic traffic efforts, but let's talk about it, okay? So the first thing is it's free. The second thing is, is you can grow freaking fast with organic traffic. So if you're somebody that's been hesitant with um, creating content and you know deciding which traffic system to go with because you're like okay I don't know everyone's talking about Pinterest marketing is the best YouTube marketing is the best um, whatever marketing is the best and you're just like blah, blah, just pick one okay they all work um, and this should be right now like your confirmation to just go with organic pick a traffic system and just roll with it. Um, I, I, I know for a fact that growing an organic audience right now and getting your first few thousand followers in the organic world is easy. It's easy to do fast. And so if you have this belief and misconception that it's hard, I get it. You know, no, you know, shame there. I mean, it's, it is hard. However, you can do it so fast now. And let me tell you the two platforms that are the most viable right now are YouTube and also TikTok. Um, I can't speak to platforms like Pinterest. I've heard that once you get that algorithm going, that's pretty fast as well, but I can't speak to it because I don't know. However, the results that I've seen on TikTok and on YouTube are nuts. For example, there's this girl, I think her name is Amy, but she goes by the name of Rebel Nutrition on Instagram and TikTok. Um, this chick is making $300,000 a month. Well, she just had a $300,000 a month. Um, she easily makes over six figures with selling her products online, all from organic. It's insane. Okay, it's very inspiring because I was at a point in my business and my journey. I'm like, oh, crap, I need to, you know, uh, figure out paid ads now because my my organic reach has reached a plateau and I can't go any further. No, wrong. Like coming from, you know, a business owner, a CEO, AKA me, who's gone through a lot the past four years, I'm letting you know a big lesson learned is that even though my audience is pretty significant and big right now, I have over 275,000 followers across all my social media platforms. There's still so much room for me to light the gas on fire on my organic traffic and grow even more. Um, and seeing creators like her and business owners like her make me realize that, yeah, um, <laughs> it is still very possible to blow up your organic reach and do it quickly. Okay, and her strategy is very simple. It's just creating bite-sized content um, based around the different products you sell or your brand or whatever your niche is, creating bite-sized pieces of content and doing it quickly. And she's using and leveraging reels and short form content. And she's also dominating on TikTok and she's growing virally, which is producing hundreds and thousands of views to her personal brand every single day. And that's how she's getting people to opt into her funnel. And before we dive deeper into the world of YouTube and organic traffic, let's take a moment to acknowledge today's sponsor of this video, and that is Skillshare. Now, what is Skillshare? It's an amazing online community where you can go and access hundreds and thousands of different classes to inspire your learning journey. If you're acquiring a new skill or wanting to sharpen a new skill or get inspired to learn something new, Skillshare is the best way to do that, to level up your learning and creativity. So for example, in this video, you're learning how to build an, an organic audience, leverage it to grow an online business. There's tons of great classes on Skillshare about that and specifically you could access great classes to several great teachers including myself yes that's right i'm proud to announce that i am officially a skillshare teacher so go check out my class and I have a great class on skillshare all about this topic that we're learning today and how to basically leverage youtube to grow and build your business online definitely go check it out. You can click on the first link in the description. And as a matter of fact, the first thousand people to click the link below will get access to one month free and a trial of Skillshare. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead, check out the link below and sign up today. And by the way, when you sign up and start your free month trial, I'd be oh so grateful if you would check out my profile, give me a follow there because I have tons of new Skillshare classes coming your way in the coming months. All right, so back to the discussion about organic and free traffic in the world of YouTube. There is a new create. well, he's not a new creator, but he's fairly new um, in regards to the time he's been on YouTube and how big his audience is now. He's just crossed um, over 200,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. This is Alex 
Hormozy, and I think I'm saying his name right, sorry if I'm not, but <laughs> Alex, he is dominating because he's doing a combination of both YouTube shorts and YouTube long form. And what's impressive about him is he's kind of breaking all the rules. I mean, as far as like quality video content. So he's just posting like Zoom calls and very basic minimalist style videos that are getting thousands of views because one, he's leveraging the long form content on his channel and also his short form content. And so YouTube shorts right now are extremely viral. I mean, not just right now, but in the foreseeable future, it's definitely going to be viral because YouTube has to compete with Instagram Reels. YouTube has to compete with TikTok. And if you know anything about the virality on TikTok, it is, whoa, explosive. I remember when I got my first million viewed video that I posted, it has a uh, 200, Right now it has almost 2 million views, but that thing went so viral, it was crazy. It just exploded. But the point is YouTube shorts had to follow suit. So there's several different traffic sources on YouTube, including um, YouTube search, which we all know, which is keyword traffic. Um, we all know suggested videos where your videos pop up um, and play after a, a another creator's video are on the right hand side you see a suggested video there's browse features which are the videos that pop up on the home page and now and there's others there's like external there's um, YouTube stories there's uh, channel pages there's a bunch of other traffic sources just within YouTube which make it super uh, powerful which makes YouTube the platform very powerful but now you add in the shorts shelf and that's like putting like fire on you know lighting gasoline to like all these other traffic sources it's like um, it's been very very successful that's actually the next strategy I will be going to as well because YouTube shorts it's a win-win-win it's kind of like um, it's short form content that is kind of like the gateway to your long form content so that's what's really cool is it goes viral and not everyone that comes from your YouTube shorts videos are going to want to watch your long form content. However, there's going to be a lot that do. So let's say you have a YouTube shorts video that uh, gets 10,000 views within the first two weeks of you publishing it, which is very, very, very possible with the virality of the YouTube shorts shelf traffic. Let's say 2000 of those views. Um, people are interested in watching some of your other YouTube videos and let's say maybe 500 of those people are interested in subscribing Commenting and a few hundred of those are interested in opting into your funnel. That's a lot That's a lot of people. Okay, a lot of exposure all for creating a very simple Piece of content that you can create with your phone with window lighting and it's short form these videos don't have to be uh, 20 minutes long they could be maximum 58 seconds long that's the time limit to consider it and have it be um, officially a YouTube short and by the way if you are interested in learning more about building a profitable YouTube channel um, leveraging it to scale what you're doing online and even just to create an audience while you're you know maybe doing coaching or maybe you have a online course or something like that definitely download my subscribers to sales blueprint up here or the first link or second first second link in the description it'll give you a great breakdown six steps on how to do that i highly recommend downloading that subscribers to sales blueprint okay and so to wrap up this discussion about organic traffic um creators over and over are, are proving just how viral um you know TikTok and youtube are and the great thing is that within 30 days you can go from no following to a pretty big following um at least a couple of thousand of your first subscribers and followers and that's what's impressive and so you really like in the world in the land of marketing you really only need a dedicated fan base of a thousand true followers who are going to be you know your raving fans in your audience and who will always support your personal brand no matter what and they'll buy from you and they'll buy multiple times from you and so that is the key to growing your uh, audience quickly is to follow this viral movement and to get yourself exposure and visibility in front of these algorithms that are pushing and pushing they want they want to push your content right they want to do it and also the frustrating thing is when i see people say oh that didn't work for me it's like you're not trying hard enough okay you need to try more because people 
they'll post a reel maybe they'll post five tiktoks maybe they'll post you know four youtube shorts and they're like oh i'm getting new views and i'm like what the fuck? i'm like you bet you didn't do anything like keep posting right it's just it's just just blah, not human nature it's just algorithm nature you're going to get results if you just keep going because if you get discouraged after trying for you know a week of course you're not going to get a following you're not going to get results you're not going to make money online you have to keep going you can't get discouraged from no results or very small results in the beginning because it's going to take a little bit of time but as i mentioned these algorithms are so viral right now that stay dedicated to it and you'll be so happy the types of things you can see in the first 60 days of going hard okay so one of the other ways that i had mentioned in the beginning about getting your traffic system going and getting out there and making sales and getting your first customers is with buying somebody's audience now what does this mean so this means you could either literally buy um, an email campaign so let's say a entrepreneur friend over here they have a list of 5,000 people a list of 5,000 email subscribers what you can do is say hey so and so um, you know how much do you charge per click to that and that's what it's called it's called a solo ad right where you buy um, their their email list basically like you don't buy their leads like they don't come to you but you buy a campaign so what you would do is you would write up um, different a sequence of emails maybe it's four emails that you're sending to their list and you would say hey so and so I have this offer um, I think that it goes really well with your offer and your audience because they are interested in um, you know anti-aging cream or whatever whatever you're, it doesn't matter the niche but then they'll say okay so I charge 20 cents per click which is actually very very cheap um, some can charge as high as a dollar maybe a little over a dollar per click but basically every click that they generate from you every link click so that means that one, they open the email, and two, they click on your link. Every single click that they generate for you, you have to pay for regardless on whether that gets a sale or not. And so the cool thing about um, doing that is it could be it could be profitable. So you could spend, let's say, $700 on a solo ad or email campaign, and you could make maybe $1,300 uh, because you make that money on the back end. You could even have the email campaign that you send out to their list. Um, for example, you could have it send an opt-in. And that way, it's a, it's a way to not only put your offer in front of other people, but also get leads to your CRM. So I remember when I first did this back in the day, we had an email campaign where I sent out an email, and then the when they clicked on the link in the email, it took them to my landing page and my opt-in page. And so that was cool because it gave me, you know, 200 fresh new leads to my list that were genuinely interested in what I have to sell. So that's one way to quickly test out an offer. That's one way to quickly uh, put, or potentially get results like monetary results and seeing if your offer can convert. Because uh, that's when you buy a solo ad, when you do uh, email campaigns and collaborate with other people, they that's a considered a warm audience where as Facebook ads or any type of paid advertising that's considered cold audiences because these people aren't wanting to see ads all day and so yes if you can find a on another business owner entrepreneur somebody that has a list um, and propose to them an email campaign um, that would be cool uh, because that again there's a lot of great advantages yes it's paid but it's a little bit more I would not secure is not the word it's a little bit more promising than just starting a campaign from scratch with paid advertising when you have like a cold pixel you have no data history and you know whatever else like email lists are always more reliable than just starting a paid campaign of ads from scratch so definitely think about how um, and who could help with you know in this collaboration if you just want to get something out fast and even if you have the budget as you're building your audience so as you're growing your organic audience with some of the methods we talked about in the previous point and you're doing the um, email campaigns and buying other people's audiences this could be cool because this means you're doing both things at once so you're growing your audience you're growing your foundation of your own source of traffic 
and you're testing out you know your offer and seeing what converts and seeing what doesn't while building your list okay because you're building your list over here with the email campaigns and you are um, building your list over here as you grow your uh, organic audience to small to medium size quickly as long as you're leveraging and going hard with those algorithms and by the way I talk about some really great money-making systems and automated systems in the very last video I posted I'll leave it right here and in the description about if you have a hundred dollar budget what to do with it to build out systems in your business to scale to six figures your first year online it's a really helpful video so I'll leave it um, in the description so you could check that out later but let's just uh, touch on paid advertising and also the old way I mean I touched on paid ads it's just honestly paid ads to me if you take anything away from paid advertising it's something you don't do unless you've proven your offer and you have a product that converts with your warm audience first that's what i have to say there's other paid advertising fanatics out there gurus that'll be like no start with paid ads that's my opinion and since i've started my personal brand and built up my personal brand to a company that is what has worked for me so far um, because as, as I mentioned, with paid advertising, ad accounts can get shut down. You can go over your budget, budget and pass your budget. Um, it's a cold audience that you're running traffic to as opposed to a warm audience that knows you already, that uh, likes the content that they're engaging with with you. So that's my take on paid ads. And now the other one that we first mentioned was traditional. This is something I did. Um, word of mouth, like friends and family, like literally telling people, like what I have, right? This, this, in my opinion, isn't scalable. This isn't a way to scale your traffic in your company, but uh, it's a way to get make your first sales for sure. So, um, what what I did, this is me back way back in the day, like 2017, I believe. Even before I started e-commerce, I literally went door to door on different to different businesses because I wanted to run Facebook ads for them. I wanted to start a local digital marketing agency and start running Facebook ads for different companies. <laughs> I went door to door to different companies. And I had no clue what I was doing. Um, you know, I went to a, I think I went to a wine store. I went to d different dentist office. I went to, uh, uh, what are they called? Cosmetic surgeon offices. I went to all types of local business. Uh, sadly, I didn't get one customer, but uh, hey, at least I tried. I know I know what it's like to go door to door and knocking on on different businesses' doors and offering something and getting rejected or people looking at me weird. Like, no, it's not the most comfortable, but um, it's it honestly could work if you approach it differently. Um, and I I honestly don't know what to tell you on this because this is not something that worked out for me. But several people who have started off with kind of their circle and their immediate networks of people to have people help them out to get with getting their first clients, whether that's a coaching client, whether that's a service based client, um, it works because, for example, let's say you are a video editor and your vision is to create a video editing agency, right? Um, you could literally make videos for free for people in the beginning. Um, create a body of work, create a portfolio, create a reputation. And that way um, you could eventually start, to, oh, you will for sure. That way is a surefire way to start charging for your services. And that way it's a, gr a great way to start making money quickly. You know, as uh, the faster you can get the free projects done and out of the way, the faster you can start charging because people will like your work, comment, review, um, give you suggestions and you'll just learn more and more how to work with clients. So that is another uh, way, like traditionally old school, if you have no audience, if you're wanting to make your first, you know, couple hundred bucks, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing something for free at first to prove your body of work and to prove your skill set. That's also a great route that you can do. All right, thanks so much for sticking to this point in the video, high five. All right, so if you made it this far, definitely check out the next video right here coming up, which is all about the lazy way to making 2K per month with leveraging Amazon to sell low content books and make passive income. So if that interests you, Click right here and I'll see you on that video. Imagine planting little money trees online. Now that is exactly what I'm gonna be showing you 
in today's video how to start and build your little sales tree 